This is a follow-up to our previous SentMid mod tutorials. In this video, we're going to teach you how to set up Zen402 on an Nginx server. I'm going to show you about MySQL dump, uh, memcache, and Zend opcache. As always, documentation is your friend, so make sure you do plenty of research before you go through with it. First thing we want to do is upload our installation package from Zen for All to the public folder of our domain. Uploading the zip file is going to be much faster than uploading all the individual unarchived files. Then we're going to go to our SSH client here. We're going to change over to slash home slash engine x slash domains slash uh, test server dot best is my domain. And then we have our public folder. And then if you see every there's our zip file. So we're going to just do unzip Zenforo. Once that's completed, you'll see it's it's unzip those into the upload folder. So we're going to want to move that into our root directory. So we're going to do mv uh, upload slash star dot to move everything into our current directory. That doesn't move the hidden files, so we actually need to run a second command, which is going to be star dot. And that's going to move the hidden files as well. You're always going to get that error, so don't worry about it. If we ls now, we should be able to see all the files are where they should be. We can now delete our archive. We can delete our text file. We can delete our upload folder. We also need to set up an empty MySQL database. So we're going to do a MySQL, and then we're going to do show databases, semicolon. And we see we don't have any, so we're going to create one. So we're going to create database test server, semicolon. Now we have our database set up, and we can install Zenforo. Let's exit out of this MariaDB prompt. Let's uh, open up our web browser and go to testserver.best slash install. Now we got a permission error, so we need to take care of that. There's actually two things we need to do first. If you read the sent mid mod tutorial for engine X and Zen 402, you can find these commands that you need to run. Make sure you swap out new domain for your actual domain. So we'll grab those and we'll paste them in. I've already modified them for my server, testserver.best. Enter to run that last command. We should be good with that. Next thing we have to do is set up our location blocks correctly in our nginx config file. So this is something specific to sentmid mod here. And you can see that the location is just a slash. So if you're installing this in a subdirectory, you're going to need to do the correct path in here. So if you did it in slash community, you're going to have to do slash community slash install slash data. These are actually the instructions for Zen 401. If we go to our Zen 402 manual, they've given, given us some instructions on how to set it up with Nginx. So we're going to we're going to want to copy those. Go back to our terminal. We're going to go to cd uh, slash user slash local slash Nginx slash conf slash conf dot d, and we should see our server here is tester.best.ssl. We're only using HTTPS on my server. So let's open that, go down to our location block. And so this is our main location block right here. So just underneath that, let's paste everything we got. And this location slash XF on our server, it's just the regular slash. So we're just going to grab these two. And we're going to paste them into our location block. We can get rid of these. And then all this will remain the same. You'll notice that this does not exist if you go over to the sentmid mod tutorial, he doesn't have that. And that's because he's already included this in another file. I think he's included it in this file. So that's already taken care of. We also need to go in because we're using the root directory. We can get rid of the slash XF in each one of these. Now we can save it, upload it. And now if we do ngx restart, now we can go back to our server and we can try to install again. We've met all the requirements, ready to install. Now we need to set up our MySQL database. Localhost, we keep the same, port is the same. Username, password, and database name. We know the database name is test server. And our username and password will go back into our notes from a previous tutorial. And we will grab those things. Uh, it's just going to be root is the username. Password, save. Configuration, in, configuration information is valid, so we're ready to install. Download the config, and then we need to upload that. So we'll go back to our FTP and we're going to go to source and I'm just going to drag and drop that config.php file. Now you notice I don't have permissions to upload that file to this directory. So we need to change the ownership of these folders. So let's go back to uh, slash home slash engine X slash domains uh, slash test server dot best slash public. Let's go up one and we want to do uh, chown dash R for recursive 
and we're going to do nginx 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 uh and this is going to be slash public slash and then a star asterisk oh i'm an idiot no slash there and we're going to do a slash and a star now we should be able to upload that file and we can beautiful let's change the permissions on that config file to 644 Now that's complete, we should be able to click continue, begin installation. Let's just take a look at that PHP file while we're waiting. So it's got our host, port, username, password, DB name. While we're here, we want to set up our memcached. In the Zen 4 documentation, you can see all the different caches they have. We're going to grab this block for memcached. Go back in here, paste it in at the bottom. I'm going to go one extra and I'm going to do a comma and I'm going to add in port as well. We can save that and we actually need to make those changes on the server not our local file so let's go to public source config.php i'll just paste all that in save it again yes go back to our website uh use new username that's gonna be rake password is just gonna be something stupid if you installed in a subdirectory you're probably gonna have to put the subdirectory in at the end and we're in so this is just a sample tutorial so it's never going to match because i don't have a license for this server i'm basically just going to delete this once the tutorial's over so now our server should be working just fine let's go to the actual forum and let's just make some posts your browser might be caching the old home page so just, you can just refresh cache and then it'll work again now remember we did make some changes uh, before. I don't remember if we restarted engine X, but let's do it to make sure those changes in our config file actually had effect. Now our admin page and our install upgrade page, those are both open to the public right now. So we wanna lock those down. So let's go back to our nginx config file and we're gonna add two uh, location blocks and password protect them. In our previous video, we set up some HT access passwords. We're gonna use that same authentication uh, for this. So below our main location block, which is right here, we're gonna do uh, location slash admin.php. Again, if you have a special subdirectory, make sure you take care of that. And in this block, we're gonna put auth underscore basic. We're gonna call it private. We're gonna do auth underscore basic user file. And that's gonna be the file we used before. So slash user slash local slash nginx slash conf slash ht password and we're going to need to include our php uh, stuff here so we're going to do include slash user slash local slash engine x slash conf slash php dot conf in order to get that to work we're going to close that let's copy this we're going to make another one and this one is going to be for slash install slash that's going to protect our install and upgrade folder and that's just going to use the same exact thing so now we can save that yes ngx restart again let's go back here and let's click admin and now it's going to ask us for a password okay so we're in if we want to do the same thing but we want to access the install page we can do this cool and so this is going to protect you from someone who could easily access your stuff. You have to log in with your credentials anyways, but it's just a second barrier to, to block people from trying to screw you over. So now you're good. Your form's all set up and you can do whatever you want now. We set up some caches before. We set up memcached, and when we compiled PHP, we enabled it to use Zend opcache. So let's make sure those are running. So let's go back to our notes file. Here. Let's look at Zend opcache. Paste that in, asking us for our password again. We have to grab our Zend opcache password. And now we can see how much memory it's using. And most importantly is hits. So what I'll do just to make sure this is working, I'll just see how many hits this is. And then a day or two later, I'll check and see if they've increased. It's normal to get misses because not everything's going to be cached. But you should see like 75% being cached. What else do we have? Memcached right here. Paste that in. You can see that that appears to be working. Let's see, we hits 1607, misses 170. Let's go back to our website and just browse around real quick. And then we will go back and we'll refresh it. 
and you'll see those two things both increased. So memcached and Zend opcache are both working. If you ever need to restart memcached for whatever reason, you do a memcached restart is an alias you can use. You can also just flush it by using echo uh, flush underscore all and then pipe that into nc localhost 11211 and that will flush that in case you're having some sort of caching issue. Just going to go over some various other things uh, related to this video. So if you if you ever have a problem with your ser with your databases, you can do MySQL check dash dash all dash databases and this will see if anything needs to be repaired. Let's go back to uh, cd slash home. And what we want to do here is I'm just going to show you how to quickly use MySQL dump. So if you need to make a backup of your database, you do MySQL dump. And the database name is test server. And we're actually going to gzip it as well. So we're going to pipe that into gzip and put it into a db dollar sign date plus percentage f dot sql dot gz and if we ls again now we should see we have a database backup it has the date on it and it's been gzipped so it's a uh, it's compressed so i think that covers everything i want to do we installed zen 40 we set up with the nginx config format for zen 402 and showed you my sql dumped we checked the both caches they're both working fine and that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, guidedhacking.com slash donate, patreon.com slash guidedhacking. Please support us so that we can continue to make videos and peace out.